Hello everyone, I am here because I have this cutie, this cutie. I made her on a live yesterday and I wanted to, I'll show you that I completed her. She is done. This one is checked off, officially checked off my list, of my bucket list. I wanted to make a watermelon using my watermelon dies, but I ended up making a Sunny Days a Flip album and it's kind of like a tag album but it is an album all together so i want to show you what i did i did put this uh, together on the live like i said and i added a rosette here i try to use my stash guys um uh, rosettes that are gifted to me um, embellishments that were made for me and i used them on this project here so i use and let me just show you yes i use something that's been in my stash for i don't even know how many years it's creative memories cutting um custom cutting system here there are cartridges so i use this and my circles to die cut uh, these circles out and let me tell you it does work because it made that frame for the shaker so they do work and i did use 110 pound cardstock i i'm just challenged when it comes to the silhouette i don't know i don't use her as often as i should uh, it's just, um, I'm complicated for her and, um, and that's all, <laughs> and that's all, let's not go into it, but, um, so I did use that cutting system to make these, um, these circles. This is, this measures six and, uh, six and a quarter. So, um, it, it's pretty big and I really love the size. So that, that, that's the first page. That's the first. So on the first page I use chipboard and I use the stickers and the puffy stickers in the collection and some of Emily's trim and um, added some little cabochons on there, a little bow. And the back of this, I added some of the cut aparts. So this is a journaling um, picture book. You can further add pictures in here and just stagger them. Um, from the this is one of the dies that I've had in my stash that I haven't used and I got to use it So it's checked off my list as officially used this little flower is made by my friend Brenda She's lived at Lovecraft and then I add a chipboard here on this page here it it has um, The acetate here it serves as a pocket. I wanted it to so you could see through it and the tags and could be you could add a photo behind it or journal and then it's a shaker and then it has a little flower cluster there with some trim and this was also made for me and then we have these flowers here these were made by Anna she's creatively blessed Anna on IG and Anna Sherman Portamanche on YouTube guys check uh, the ladies out so so talented and though this is a die cut from Tamika, she is uh, sending smiles. And so this is just a whole bunch of, of using my stash. So I really enjoyed uh, the process of grabbing some items in my stash and putting it onto this album. And so these are glasses here that were gifted to me by my friend Hilda. She's Hilda Devaye. So guys, go check her out. And then I added a little palm tree right there with some trim and more little tags here from the collection. And I did stitch all around. I didn't mention that, but I did stitch all around. But this cutie came out super beautiful. I'm actually happy with um, how it turned out. And that one was gifted to me by my friend Hilda. And it has the um, diamond dust on it. Look at that shine right there. And that little bow was given to me by Christie's Art Craft. Super cute. So then we see this page here. It has chipboard. It has a shaker. This is my first time actually using this bottle shaker. I've had it for a while on my stash. And I'm just trying to use my stuff. I added a rosette in the background. Some trim. So it's just super cute. It's so pretty. And then in this page here, now mostly this is like a chunky, it turned out a little chunky and it has a space for it because it is a binded type album with this ring binding right here. 
so you do have room to do that and i added this shaker here and that i on that ice cream right there and it says life is beautiful at a little cabochon right there and then some more tags mostly their um pocket tuck spots and look at that watermelon right there and it added some chipboard so i really enjoyed making this project here and this one's gifted to me by my friend hilda and i added that pocket there add pictures and you can further add tuck in pictures and or journaling pieces as the recipient you know wants to use it and it's super sturdy so this is the last page I enjoyed creating this on a live I went solo with all the ladies that showed up to the live and guys catch that replay if you can um, officially check this off from my list to do list because it is done she is done and I can continue checking off more items off my list so I just wanted to share this project that I made hopefully you could go and watch that live guys thank you thank you so much for joining me and your support it means a lot thank you for your comments and I will talk to you on the next video have a wonderful day